What's up everyone? Good morning. As you guys know, I am a professional MMA fighter with the UFC. I am also a karate instructor. You guys are gonna be hanging out with me today, kind of showing you my ins and outs of the, of the day. What I, what I do on a daily basis. So we got a few training sessions we're gonna be doing, teaching classes, picking up kids from school. We're gonna party and you guys are along for the ride. Let's go. Just got to the gym. We're gonna get a good uh, 11 o'clock training session in. Hey man. Hey dude. Open the door for me. Thanks. This is the gym. I gotta get in here, gotta get dressed, got a training session, we gotta get going on. I'll see you out in a second. Oh, hey guys. So I didn't just do it. So we're gonna get some back work in. Miss uh, Anna Banana over there is gonna be fighting. Uh, Anna, where are you fighting again? Bosnia. Bosnia. Walker World Championships. Last time USA brought gold home is when I brought it home. <laughs> so it was a week. It's a week-long event, and there's like 120 something countries representing this thing. It's like our kickboxing Olympics. And the first day I fought, it was in Hungary then, uh, in a place called Zagen. Um, I fought a guy from Italy, knocked him out, kicked him in the head, broke his jaw, all that good stuff. They had to airlift him to Sicily. It was pretty crazy. And then I fought a guy from Great Britain, and then a guy from Latvia. Knocked him out with body shot. And then for the gold, I fought a guy from Russia. And he was, and the Russians always bring the gold home. Russians are pretty tough. And I ended up beating him. And that's the, I think the first time since 86 or 83? 86 or seven or something like that. That the USA brought the gold home. So I brought it home and the goal is to bring it back. Anna, don't you mess this up. You got this. So we're gonna do some bag work. Maybe a little bit of mitts, some bag work, building some cardio. Uh, I'm getting back in the swing of things because after my last fight, lights out. I know most of you guys have seen it. I'm disappointed just like you guys are. But I'll be back better than ever. So while I'm on this medical suspension, I'm going to tear up some bags. I'm in the best shape of my life when I come back. So we're going to get it. All right. Pitch black, baby. That's my warm up. Hands up, baby. Ha! Yeah. Oh, good bag work, good. Nothing like waking up to some good old fashioned training. Now usually after every training session we do, ab work, net work. After my last class, I literally just leave. So you can always do the abs. You can always, I mean the abs heal very quickly, kind of like the calves. You can do ab work every day. The harder your core is, the more in shape your core is, the faster, the stronger, the more powerful the rest of your body is going to be. 
So we we'll always build the core. If you find that your punches maybe are lagging or um, maybe they're not as fast as they should be, it's probably because your core is weak. So build the core, make everything uh, stronger and faster that way. And then we're gonna build the neck. The stronger that neck is, especially for MMA, you know, it helps with your jiu-jitsu, your grappling, but even getting hit in the head. So um, I definitely gotta work that after my last fight. So we're gonna do some ab work right now. Ha! Ah! We're doing some ab work, with a little bit of hip work as well, because you're lifting the legs. You want to be able to, to make those kicks quick. Working the obliques and the hip flexors as well. So that's what we're doing. All right, now it's time for some neck work. So I like to use a weighted, we actually made this. This is like a regular headgear with a, a weight strap attached to it. First training session is done, so right now I'm gonna shower up. Uh, I've got some phone calls to make, got a business to run, and then at around two o'clock, I'll be picking the kids from school for our, our after school program. I'm headed home, uh, gonna get some grub, and get ready for the rest of the day. I'm home right now, I'm getting ready to grub up. Stuff. Now that we got our shake, our lunch here, it's time to go pick up some kids. But yeah, man, this is it. I got, I got four schools I gotta go pick up. Yeah, let's get it done. That concludes the Upstate Karate bus route. Now it's time to teach some karate classes. It's gonna be fun, lad, let's go. It is time to do what I love to do and that's teaching kids how to be ninjas. Let's go. Here's one of them right here. Let me hear you. Ready? Attention! warmed up and we're gonna warm up to a game of zombie um, we got after this class like five to six more classes we're doing today so this is about a 45 minute class our junior class about a 45 minutes long and we party the whole time but we have fun we work hard but we have fun doing it. we're gonna work on the double leg takedown a shuffle jab into a double leg shuffle jab now Mason's gonna block it with what which means her his hands are where they're up they're up now you can shoot for the legs. Rob, show me the double leg. Go for it, pal. Wah. Or when he drives it to, you want to make it as difficult as possible. So my hands don't hit. If I got Miss Kinder up, stand up on Miss Kinder, and I get in on the leg here, and I take them down, I want to wrap those legs up. All right? The one that's going to prevent them, make it more difficult for them to, to get you in guard position, and it's easier for you to pass. No, keep, keep rolling. Oh, no, don't take you down, Miss Kyra. Don't let him take you down. Oh, oh, oh a little sloppy, but he worked, it worked. Usually after every class, we like to get some ab work in. You know, summer's coming up, so we gotta get those summer bods going. Go! Keep that, baby, keep that. Keep that, six pack, let's go. Now we're gonna have a little fun. It's time to smoke some kids with the dodgeball! We're looking for headshots, Mr. Vasquez. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was
was class number one. I got five more classes today. Then I got training after that. So we're getting it today. We're on it. It's crazy out there. We got one more class, actually two more classes to do. Got one white belt class, beginner class. And then I have training with the MMA guys tonight. We're gonna do some rest, some wrestling. So gotta keep the energy level up when you're out there, man. This is what I do, man, every day. We got one beginner class left, MMA class, and then it's on like Donkey Kong. If I'm gonna do this, I should feel my shoulder banging into his hip. It should be here. Here we go. Ready? And working. None of our fighters are here today, so we're working some basic sub, basic drilling, working the double leg off of the jab. Here you go, keep driving down, keep going down, keep going down with it. There you go. Good, wrap those legs up. Go over that in your head tonight. Go over it in your head, Marley Bruce, okay? Let's wax on, wax off this bad boy, let's go. <laughs> Handstands. All right, guys, that was it. Nothing too crazy. Didn't blow their hearts up, just working some technique, some technique. Sometimes that's all they need. Sometimes when you come to train, especially MMA training, it feels like your, your heart's about to explode some, some nights, all right? Your lunge about to explode. And then some nights you don't even break a sweat because it's just drilling, okay? All right, you guys, get over here, get over here. Excellent with yourself, big hand. <laughs> Go over this in your head tonight when you're laying in bed. Next time we take somebody down, we you go into that position and submission. All right, hands right here. Black belt principles and begin. As dedicated to the martial arts, I will live by the principles of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and a double spirit. What you go? Black belt, black belt sir. Are we sure? Yes, sir. Pitch back on three, one, two, three. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody can do this, world fastest dresser. Cause you know, I don't know if you know Wonder Boy, I'm a superhero. You know, Fridays, Saturdays, Saturdays, I do it from like four to six, but in those time frames. So I gotta be able to get dressed quick, you know? Boom. <laughs> Day is over. Quick recap, morning training session. Picking up kids from school. From four to eight, we were teaching karate classes, kids classes, we were rock and rolling, having a great time. From eight to nine, MMA training. And that's pretty much my day to day. Day to day, I got one day off, Sunday, and even when training camp rolls around, I actually add on more training sessions so nothing else changes. Um, this is what I love to do, this is my daily life, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, and you want some more content, more videos in weekly, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Catch you next time.